Hello, good people. How are you doing? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling excited. Miesibuku, thank you so, so, so much. If it were not for you, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing. I wouldn't be giving words of encouragement. I wouldn't be giving words of insight and uh, hope and, uh, you know, inspiring and educating. And I'm so, so excited this morning or this you know, I love morning, you guys. <laughs> you realize sometimes I feel morning, it's in the afternoon, it's in the evening. But I just love morning because this, this song that God has been putting into my heart about uh, I will sing of the goodness of the Lord. And I'll start this video of today by encouraging you and telling you that there's nothing good and fulfilling like recognizing and acknowledging that there's somebody who loves you up there your creator your god the one that you can go and be vulnerable to the one that you can speak to without any fear the one who cannot stigmatize you and that is the lord that i am talking about and that is the lord that i want to acknowledge and have that hope and know that i can face tomorrow when i have that heavenly father so this is the channel of hope. My name is Anna Mogeshe, and this is channel, the channel where we encourage, where we give words of hope. And thank you so, so much Have you listened to this channel of today. What is the song that you have in your heart? What is that song that you have in your life? Welcome to the video of today, where we are going to talk about children and depression. Or you thought it was only adults and old people who can have depression. Children can also have it. And the video for today, we are going to talk about how you can avoid your kids from getting depression. How you can help your teens from not getting depression. Just a few tips that I want to give and welcome to this channel. smiling and laughing will make you live for long don't be gloomy all through life is not just about gloominess if there's a word like that life is not just about lack of money there are so many things that we can value in life like having our lives so the video for today like i've said we are talking about our children getting depressed our children getting uh discouraged our children feeling hopelessness in life and help helplessness as young as they are. I've done a video about depression. It is real. The symptoms that you're supposed to look at and how you can seek for help whenever you feel like that. So this video is about how our children can get depressed and the symptoms and how especially we can help them and we can avoid them from getting to that level of depression. Number one, I'm going to talk to the parents and the guardians and the sisters and brothers who are older and even those people that are, especially parents, let me talk specifically to parents and the children themselves. So share this video and let's see how we can help. And if you are new in this video, you've seen what we talk about and the insights that we give. And this is the table of the counselor. That is the counselor's insights. And we're here to talk about our children. Have you subscribed? Don't forget to scratch, to scrub, to punch on that subscribe button and make sure that you subscribe to this channel for more insights and for more help. Now, I'm somewhere on the corridor having uh, had some problems with uh, my, my baby who doesn't want me to shoot this. So I'm hiding somewhere. And uh, this is where I want to talk at, uh, uh, to us as parents and guardians and those who have children and siblings. There are many things that we can observe from our kids, but we cannot observe them if we don't know our children. So tip number one 
for you to avoid this point of depression for our kids. And please don't forget to, uh, to watch the symptoms of this depression which can also occur to our kids. Watch that video and see what symptoms that I'm talking about. So number one, grow with your children. Please, please, please grow with your kids. Growing with your kids means what? Once your children have started growing, have started going to school, observe them keenly and see what kind of personality they are, what they are, how they speak, how they express themselves, their confidence, their esteem, because even our children can have low self-esteem and lack of confidence. They can also be discouraged. So know your kids step by step. Number two, be friends to your children. Bring them up with a very flattery way in such a way that they can talk to you anything and they can tell you anything. They can share anything with you. Don't be an animal in that house. We've seen so many young ladies or young girls, teenagers who kill themselves because of being pregnant. So they say they would rather die than sharing this to their parents, their dads or their moms or their guardians. Don't be that kind of a parent. Disprint your children. Have that authority of a mother or a father or a guardian. But be firm. You can be strict but loving. You can be strict but with a lot of joy and with a lot of happiness. You know, I'll give you an example of an animal in the house or an elephant in the house. Whereby you're disciplining your kids. You give them automatum. Is it called that? <laughs> something like uh, if you do this I promise I'll do you that these are not the generation where we are being brought up and we are told if you get pregnant know where you will go if you go get pregnant kill yourself these ones will kill themselves this is the generation that I'm talking about whereby corporal punishment is illegal in schools so you won't beat them you won't kill them so then how are you going to offer you authority for them to know you are the head of this house, not becoming an animal? You can be strict, you can be a disciplinarian, you can talk to them, you can be firm with the love. Show them why you are telling them this path is not the best. That's what I mean when I talk about being friends with your kids and being an authority to them. Let them know that you do it with a lot of love and you're doing it for their own sake. Because trust me, children, young ones who are watching this, um, teenagers who are watching this, you're not going to remain young forever. You'll also be a parent and you'll also face the challenges that you're giving to your parents. That is number two. Be friends, grow with them, discipline them, number three. Number four. Watch the moves of your children. Some of these children, or these teenagers, or these young ones, are getting depressed due to abuse of substance. Some are taking alcohol, some are taking drugs because they are trying to run away from what they are feeling. So be free with them. Check every move. 24-7 know where your child is. Know the company they are moving out with or who their friends are. Sorry about this uh, reflection. This is where I could do this. And I know what I'm talking is very important and it will inspire somebody. So don't be an animal to your children. Don't be over strict. Be strict. Be firm. Say, explain unto them why you're doing A, B, C, D. I mean, don't bring up your children the way you are brought up by the boomer parents. Are they boomer parents? Yes. So you have to be friends with your children. And lastly, and this is the most important thing, know your child. Know their capability. Know their limit. Know what they can do and what they cannot do. It is not at all about academics because some of them are affected by the school performance. If your child is not an A material, don't push her to be an A material. Thank God nowadays I'm a stakeholder in the education. So we have this new curriculum which is called CBC, which is all around. It is not all about academic. If your child is not good in this, she's good in this. Know the personality of your child. 
Don't push them to be a nay as if you were a nay. I mean, you are a day material and you're telling your child to be a nay material. Come on, guys, let us be realistic. You are not a failure because you got D. Why do you want your child to be a nay material? You are a nay material, your child is not a nay material. I mean, know your children as unique and a different personality. Avoid comparing you are your children. A, she's like this, he is like that. Why can't you do like him? Why can't you do like her? Those are unique people. They are unique beings. Just like you, your wife, your husband are unique beings. Those are two different personalities. If one is an immaterial, the other one is a dematerial. So what? Those are two personalities. Encourage them. Let them do what they can do to succeed in life without you pushing them to the limit they can't be. And when you do that as a parent, when you do that as a guardian, then we are going to have a successful generation. The new curriculum is working away from exams, just assessments. And by the end of it all, if it works, we shall get the best that can fit our students and our kids. That a child can choose what he loves doing. A child can choose what she loves doing. These are not the days when we used to tell people that singing, dancing, and even football is not a career. Let them do what they are happy about and encourage them. Encourage those talents and you will be able to help these children. So I hope parents, I hope guardians, I hope aunties, and those who have children near them have empowered you, have encouraged you, and have taught you how to ensure that our children are protected from this mental issue that even our teenagers are getting. Some of them are choosing not to say it to their parents because they know they are going to be killed. And if you are a young one there who is going through stuff and you are unable to tell your parents, talk to your teachers, talk to your Sunday school teachers, Talk to your youth teachers and give them the problem that you're going through. Take even yourself to the hospital. Talk to your aunts. Anybody who can support you. Because we don't want to lose our young ones through suicide. We don't want to stop. We don't want them to kill themselves because of depression. You can speak it out. There's nothing parents have not gone through. So guys... That's it about how you can avoid. Just a few tips that uh, probably overlook, probably you may not know, but they will help you to know your child. Be friends to your children. Know them and know that they are different personalities. So don't forget to subscribe. This is Anna Mogeshe and the channel is bringing hope in life. You still need that uh, inspiration and talk uh, to your teenagers. You have a problem bringing up teenagers. We do counseling, we do talk to them, and we do inspire them. May God bless you even as you plan to contact and to talk about it. Contact Anna Mogeshe, my contacts are down there. And may God bless you. Amen.